there's no hand there's no handle here man Well, we need to come in here and put handles on there. <laughs> Bounced right off. Practically knocked myself out of the boat. Oh, we'll get there someday, folks. All we're trying to do is tie off to this pole that they put here nice and conveniently for people like us, especially me, in my boat. Here we go. Done. Hey, well, I'm, I'm goofing around with a tackle issue. Dennis already caught a trout. <laughs> a jig and shrimp, he's cheating. I was throwing a lure. All right, let's see if I can fix my tackle issue. I was sitting there tight in my real seat. And you got one. All right. Well, that's two to nothing. In the box he goes. All right, Dave's in the house. No, it's a pupper redfish. What did he eat? I want to know what he ate. He ate my double hook rig, folks. He ate the top one and left the shrimp. See? He saw this jigging off the bottom and decided to go for it. See, I'm doing a I'm doing a double hook because that's what they do in Louisiana, but they catch two fish at a time. <laughs> so kind of surprising you ate that over there. Yep, well, that was on the bottom. I got an egg and a shrimp. And then I got this little just darter that I chopped down even. Just with a hook threaded through it. And he ate it. Right next to a dock. And I was about to say to Dennis, geez, let's go back to the bridge and start floating back again. Because that's where the trout are. <laughs> All right, let's see how big he is. On Dave's first fish of the morning. Creaking it on Dennis's sea arc. And he is a whopping 17 on the nose. Of course he's not 18. The story of my life, an inch too short. All right, got something small. Up here doing the old creaking. What is it? Small trout, small trout. Now he went for the shrimp. He went to the shrimp. Nice little speckly bastard up in the creaky. All right, Dennis got another shorty trout on a gulp and a jig head. That really looks like a shrimp to me. I've seen, there's so many shrimp I've seen with sartreuse tails. I mean, every time I go to the bait shop, that's a special shrimp. There's shrimp in there with these damn bright ass yellow tails. That's a special shrimp. Yeah, see. I mean, basically, you you could make this thing just a tube, just a just a oh, thing. Yeah. It doesn't have to be molded no. any particular. No. I and it's all getting a, tore up. I could take a freshwater uh, stick bait. Yeah. And cut it in half and use it, and it'd work just as good. A stick bait, like gulp stick bait? No, it's uh, like a Cinco. Oh, yeah. I could take one in and use it. And work just as oh, oh, we're about to run into the bank, folks. <laughs> totally different creek system now. Let's see what we got. Oh, my God. Cast right there. There's a whole bunch of trout right there. Right there in the water. No, I caught two. No, that was me. I caught two. You got two of them on <laughs> I thought they were, I thought they were, they were following each other. Double hooker. All right. I was like, one came up and another one was right behind him. And I thought, hey, there's a whole school of them. How stupid of me. <laughs> a school of trout. I never, 
I didn't I didn't know there was schools of trout in, in around here. All right, there we go. Little little dudes, little hungry dudes. <laughs> well, you robbed us, Ben. I, I thought it was a keeper. Oh man, I thought it was, I thought there were whoppers. Huh. All right. Well, I can dig it. I can dig it till I'm satisfied. Whatever it is, dig it. All right, we're back into the yellow mouths, aka weak fish. The creek sucked. At a, at a high tide, the creek sucked. So we're gonna just fish for these little dudes, I guess. Yeah. Cooler fillers. Yeah, but they're not very thick. All right. It's been quite dull since my double header on one rig. We haven't done nothing. Dennis had to take a restroom break. Hey, buddy. Lay it up. He said he may look like shit, but he doesn't feel like shit anymore. All right, what are we gonna do here? It's too nice. It's been too nice of a day. I don't even know what I'm gonna do with this video. We did have, I had a break off. I had a big, big fish at this spot earlier. Um, and that's about it. I'm bass fishing here, man. Oh my God. I could skip this one like Bill Dance across the top of the water. Better than a sharp stick in the eye. I'll tell y'all folks a story. I was looking back at some old videos, catching these things. My God, two to four pounds, five pounds at the jetties. I don't even know if that's a true weak fish. Is that a true weak fish? Or is that just a sandy, a sandy trout? I don't know. I don't, I don't even think that's a true weak fish to tell you the truth. That's a god dang just sand trout or something. True weak fish has those really good checks in his scale pattern. We got four in the box. We're burning down the house. Here, everybody can look at my shadow. This is what we're looking for. Let me get my shadow out of the way. Okay, Dennis, hold him up. 16. Yep, that's what we're looking for. Come here, buddy. If you could see him with all the bouncing around. We're not looking for them little sandies. We're looking for these. We got multiple species of different types of little trout. You know, we got the sand trout, we got the speckled trout, we got the weak fish. I think there's even another one or something, but I don't. Oh, well. Rainbow trout, brook trout. You go to the restaurant. Yeah, we got we got all that too, but uh, at the restaurants. Um, <laughs> I don't know, but all I know is the yellow mouse. They like the cold water. They like the cold water. There'll, there'll be a fish that'll bite on the nastiest damn day. And look at today. It's absolute bluebird high pressure today. These uh, yellow mouth many times are real day savers. Oh, Dennis has got one too. We're double heading. We're double heading. Who's got a bigger one? Who's got a bigger one? I know mine ain't very big. He's swimming at me. Not bad. Not bad, but he ain't huge either. Let's see what you got. Oh, you got a bigger one. Yours is bigger, isn't it? Looks a little bigger. All right. These are called day savers, folks. Day savers. Out here on the old sea arc. Good God, man. You want pliers? Man, what would, what would Dennis do without me? I don't know.
Tim. What, what are you doing? Oral surgery? Yeah. Throw them in there. Right on top of your lunch. You need now. Now you need the uh, the towel. Trust the towel. Man, I gotta play chief bottle washer. <laughs> uh, oh yeah. How do you like them breaded? <laughs> Zatarans country fish fry mix. All right, top hook. Totally avoided eating this shrimp, but the head's gone on the shrimp. If you can see that. So, my little idea of doing a double hook up here with the little soft plastic works. I just got my 3407 on a dropper loop. Look up how to make a dropper loop. You know, if you don't know, it's just a double line. So, got this little turd here. And... His ass goes in the box. <laughs> Going out deep. This is about the weakest tide that we could have ever fished on. I mean, I, I complain about the current, but then when there's no current, the fish don't want to bite. I mean, we're, it's like fishing the Gulf of Mexico, folks. There ain't no damn current. I'm casting a, what is that, a half or three-eighths ounce egg sinker behind a boat in 25 foot of water out here, and it sinks poof, straight to the bottom. There ain't no current, there ain't nothing. We're right after the full moon, I guess, and something's going on here with no current. Anything around a four-foot tide or less, you just don't get any current in this river, but then the fish don't bite. They don't want to bite because there ain't no current. It is a double-edged sword. Yeah, when there is current, you can't catch it because Yeah, and then there's when there's too much current. Oh, very oh my god, he thumped the shit out of me. Huh. I missed him. As Rosanna Rosanna Dana used to always say, it's always something. I mean, right now nothing's going on because of the uh what, one more day to, to communism or socialism? So everybody's scared to death. I would be too. Yep, and uh, Dennis was talking about how he lost his part-time job because they had no business. And why do they have no business? Well, you ask. Yeah, the COVID-19, and then guess what? They ain't going to have no business when Beijing Biden's in charge either. He's doing everything to not have this country prosperous. They're all bought and paid for. Them. Yeah, a puppet of the party. Uh, CCPP, Chinese Communist Party puppet. That's what that's going to be. They're all bought and paid for. They're assholes and they don't give two hoots about you and me when somebody has a protest in their front door they don't like it they don't like protests in their front door but as long as it's in your front door they don't care i just lost them demonetization runs rampant yep first second amendment next oh yeah to hear the NRA is going to file bankruptcy, get out of New York, and go down to Texas. All right, I just about had the rod jerked out of my hand by this fish. This fish about snatched the dang rod right out of my hand, and he's not that big. He's wrapped up, he hit the top. and he hit the top. Guess what Din Din will be doing next time? Running one on the top? Yeah, I'll be running South Plastic. Look at this, he's wrapped up in it. I mean, about snatched the damn hook or the rod out of my hands. Yes, look at Dennis, bowed up. He's about to take the rod right out of my hands. These fish, they fight hard, man. God, 
for their size. Yeah. They're hard little There we go. There's another. All right. Well, they are flat. We, 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 yeah, we got a decent box of them going here now. This was just a little thing that I thought about doing. Running a little soft dancer up on top of my bait. And it's really, really working out. All right, here we go again, folks. Oh, Another one on the top. Pretty good. Another one on the top. They're not even eating the shrimp. They're, I'm drop shotting, baby. I'm I'm bass fishing, drop shotting. See? Yeah. I'm a drop shotter. I notice you're getting <laughs> a lot more bites when you put that thing further after the line. Yeah. Yes, sir. I said, who let them dogs out? Who let the yellow mouth out? You got a little bucket? Yeah, get your bucket and let's put a little, yeah. let's make, make a slurry in here. Or they're just going to end up being so warm you can't even clean them. That's good. That's good. Finally got a sheep's head on a shrimp, folks. It ain't a big one, but I'll take them. That would be crazy if he ate the top one, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would. If he ate the plastic. He ain't big, but I'll take him. Finally, an L shit head on a scrimp. I could tell it was something else. He sandbagged it. He just laid on it. All right. This is going to be the last one for Dave. We got to go back and clean fish. And I got this one by the look at look how I got him. Oh man! I got him by the hair of his chinny chin chin. All right. Well, they're not the biggest fish in the world, but guess what? Dennis is ready to bow up on one. There's Dennis got one now too. Last fish for Din Din. All right. We're gonna have to go back and clean fish, folks. It's it's getting late. We got a whole cooler full here, as you can see. And here's one more. Uh, they ain't the hugest fish in the world, but we'll take them. Since it's your last one, he's he's got the worthiness written all over him. Oh! Yes. Yep, they're not the biggest fish in the world, but we'll take them. I grew up with one saying in my house that my mom would repeat even today. Beggars can't be choosers. And she'll still tell me the same damn thing yeah. 58 years later. Well, guess what? <laughs> and she's exactly right. Wise woman. Beggars, camp and choosers. Okay. Well, I done wore this little, uh, what do you call this? It was a Miralore Little John or something. That's what this little bait was. I done wore that out, so... It's gonna go in the trash. But I was using some of Dennis's secret red line here. No secret, hey, just just that just that red that just that red cage and stuff, and I make a dropper loop. And see the dropper loop's a double line. And then I just put the double line through the hook. See how that's hooked on there. Nothing fancy. But I can tell you, it does matter the distance. You want your, I was doing my shrimp on the bottom and how far away is that? That's about two foot, Yeah, two, maybe, maybe 20, inches. 20 inches or so. And it made a real difference having this twitch in here and the bait down there, that's for sure. Yeah. So we didn't float rig today, but I did bring my float rig reel and it, something was screwy with it. So we didn't float rig fish, but we didn't have to, but we came prepared for it.
time to make the donuts here at the fish cleaning table. I think I'm going to do Mr. Sheep's Head first. Because I got a new knife to do a sheep's head with. And it's that Dexter right there. Brand new. So. So how did everybody like the chest mounted video all day? I have no earthly idea what it looks like. But I'll see you after this during the editing process. Ooh, like butter. Like butter. I am not into this most of the time with the uh, chest mount. But since I was out on Dennis's boat, you know, goofing around, I figured I'd give it a shot. What I need to try is voiceover. But that means I need to get a good voiceover microphone. And I've, the one I like is about $180. All right, well, here's, the, here's all the boys and the girls. Oh, she just puts it right down the hatch. Sitting around the house, got nothing to do. I think 